Today, I'm going to be making the Sonic Instant Pudding. I'm going to be making the Root Beer Float, the Banana Shake, and the Chocolate Shake. The Chocolate Shake has been out for a little while. However, we I just have never made it before. We did a, we made the Strawberry in a separate video. So, what we did was we compared it to an actual sh Sonic Strawberry Milkshake. So, um, you may want to watch that video if you're interested in that flavor. Uh, these were $1.16 each at Walmart. I'm going to be making all three of these. So, uh, you make them all the same way. You take two cups of milk and you pour it into a bowl. This is very easy to make. And then you want to take your, this is root beer float, pour it in. And you want to whisk it for two minutes, and we'll be back. So what you do is you just pour it into a bowl. And this is uh, one of my Pyrex bowls. I love the size of these. So you can put these in, um, individual bowls so that you have individual servings but i'm just putting it in one big bowl so that we can the whole family can eat out of it um, so i'm gonna get set up for the next one and we'll be back so now we have the banana shake and we're gonna do the exact same thing we have our two cups of cold milk and we're gonna open our banana shake mix Pour it in and whisk it for two minutes. Okay, so now you just want to take this, pour it into a bowl. It smells uh, like banana. It mm -hmm. smells very, very good. So I'm going to uh, clean my bowl out and we'll be back. Now we're gonna make the a chocolate shake. And you know the drill. <laughs> Pour in your two cups of cold milk. And open up your pudding. Honestly, there's all kinds of chocolate puddings, all different brands. Uh, for me, it'll just be interesting to see how this compares with other brands, if this is any better or worse than those. So, I'm going to whisk it for two minutes. So, last time. So, this says um, on the box that it, it sets up in five minutes. Uh, but, if you want it uh, firmer, then you need to leave it for half an hour. So, I will probably leave it for half an hour and then we'll be back to check on them. Okay, these set for 30 minutes. We set a 30 minute timer and you can see they're, they're solid now. Uh, we're gonna try, uh, you wanna try the root beer first? Or the I don't care which one we're Okay, the, uh, we'll try the root beer first. They're all the same calories, a fourth packages. There are four servings in each package of, of the dry mixture is 80. And then prepared with, if you use 2% milk, it's 140 calories uh, for I think half 80 a cup. calories plus a fourth of a, a fourth of half a cup. And we're just gonna try it right out of here because it's just me and Kevin that's gonna eat this. Well, yeah, it's good texture. And it does taste mm -hmm. like root beer. That's yeah, a good root beer flavor. It does. Just missing the bubbles. It uh, it's odd to have it in that texture. Now, it's just something different because I've had the a root beer drink, of course, but then you've had the root beer barrel candy. Yeah. So this is just another texture to, to have it in, but I like it. It's really it. good. It, it's like a nice it. root beer flavor. If you like root beer, try it out. Yes, like it. it's really yeah, good. that's very good. And the textures are good and creamy. So now good. we have banana shake. I love a good banana pudding. Yes. It actually tastes like real banana. It does. Yeah, that would be good with a banana pudding. With vanilla wafers. Mm -hmm. 
When I make my banana pudding, I have the recipe on my channel. I use vanilla pudding. I don't use banana, but yeah. it, I but use, that would be good with that. But I use banana. I use vanilla pudding, but I use real bananas. You slice up real bananas and then use vanilla wafers. It's so easy to make, but it's delicious. That's that's very good. That reminds me of banana pudding. Yes, it, it's it's very <coughs> nice. That would be really good. You could take this and put it in uh, four little cups because it's four servings, and take vanilla wafers. You could put crushed vanilla wafers at the bottom bottom of the cup, and then you could put some crushed vanilla wafers on the top. Mm -hmm. It would be delicious. Yeah, that's all. Delicious. Good. Now this is the chocolate, and it's been around for a little while, like I said at the beginning, but we just had never tried it, so I figured we would see how it compares. That's funny how it has all those air bubbles in it. I figured we'd see how it compares to other chocolate puddings. Um, it's not bad. Actually, that's my least favorite one. That tastes just like any other typical chocolate pudding. box chocolate pudding. Yeah. Yes, it's no, um, you know, Sonic put their name on it, of course, um, but that doesn't make it any more special. Um, I figured we could try like the chocolate and the banana mixed. So you could, if you have little cups like this, these cups actually came from another dessert that we bought and I saved them. But if you have the strawberry, you could have uh, three different flavors uh, mm -hmm. in there. You could have the chocolate and the banana and the strawberry, and that would be like a um, banana split. Banana split. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. let's try it. I don't think it'd be good with root beer. You don't think it'd be good for root beer? Okay, I mean, maybe. Try those two. Let's see. Well, you could eat too. It's very it's uh, very pretty those colors, but I think it I think it would be good with the strawberry. Like a chocolate banana. That's good. Oh, I like them mixed together. Mm -hmm. I don't know how root beer would taste in that. <laughs> Might be a little strange. Like root beer and banana? A root beer and chocolate. Let's do root beer and banana. Yeah, that might be okay. I don't think the chocolate would be. Okay. That might be okay. Root beer. Do like a root beer float with chocolate ice cream. And banana. Okay. I like how you give it to me first. Well. Here, try it. I'm just being nice. I'm going to try it too. I've no, I don't think I've had root beer in banana. Hmm. You still taste mostly root beer. <laughs> I mean, you get a lot of banana, but... That's good. It is good. That's actually really, really good. And you would never have thought that. Um, that is a very good dessert. It's so, if you're buying the new Sonic flavors, the new ones are the root beer and the banana, that would make an awesome dessert. And if you layered and it had another layer of the root beer on top, that's actually a very pretty dessert. I like those mixed together. I like them too. That's a good I get most of the root beer, but there's a little bit out of there. Yeah, that's a very good combination. So, so all things are good. The chocolate's just regular chocolate. It's my least favorite of the three, but. What would be your, the one pick? The your, root beer. Just the root it's beer. Different. I think, uh, hmm, I think probably the banana would be mine. Yeah, the root beer's just so But, but I do like the root beer and it is very unique. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. <laughs>